What's up YouTube? This is the Bearded Baptist. Just want to do a little quick video with you tonight. I know it's been a couple weeks since my last upload, but I've been pretty busy. I've got school, wife, that's pregnant. Belly is ready to go. So, got that going on. Two other kids, crazy. Little maniacs, living the death is awesome. Being a dad is awesome. We'll have some videos about that later on. But uh, school, and then of course I got work, and then ministry things. So it's just been kind of a crazy week. So I apologize not getting another upload uh, to you. But tonight, just a real quick video. What I just wanted to say, the importance of going and encouraging the Christian brother. Um, tonight, I went and I spoke with uh, my actually my stepfather-in-law. He's going to have some major heart surgery tomorrow, some open heart surgery. I believe they're actually going to... Um, well, it's just a major surgery. I won't get into any details. But um, he is uh, a Christian. Uh, he loves the Lord and knows the Lord. And, uh, and he, he's been a little bit on edge. He's, had, he's been, uh, the past week, he said that he's been kind of battling with the Lord and uh, just talking through some things, getting some things straight, which I said, that's great. You know, that kind of reminds you of like the Jacob uh, in Genesis where he wrestles with the angel of the Lord all night. And then uh, when the angel of the Lord... Uh, wants me to let go. He says, I will not let you go until you bless me. And that's just kind of that wartime prayer, uh, you know, kind of attitude that, uh, hey, God, I will not let you go until you bless me. But tonight, what I just want to say is never underestimate the power of the gospel as a comforter to those who are in the faith. Um, to say that, hey, if you be in Christ, and Christ is precious to you, then, hey, dwell upon his love, dwell upon his goodness, dwell upon his mercies and his grace, and know that, as Paul says in, in Romans 8, that nothing can separate you from his love. So, I just want to read that passage to you real quick tonight. It's going to be in Romans 8. And of course, this is Paul talking to uh, the believers of Rome. Uh, he's talking to them in the first century. And, of course, they're facing a lot of persecution and trials uh, in the time of uh, the Roman Empire where uh, the Romans and all clarified and, and saw Caesar as Lord. So to go around and say that Jesus is Lord, well, that would get you the sword and chop the head off kind of thing. So this isn't the, the understanding back at that time was, hey, this isn't just something you pray a prayer and you just ho-hum and let's hang out, you know, in the church. But no, this was uh, wartime Christianity all the time, each and every day. So let me just read this to you real quick. Romans 8, I'm going to start in uh, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, no matter what we face in this life, today and the days to come, whether it be life today, death tomorrow, Whatever we may face, if we be in Christ, nothing can separate us from the love of God that we have in Christ Jesus. When God looks at you, He sees His Son. He doesn't love you any more because of the good things that you do. He doesn't love you any less because of the bad things you do. He loves you because of His Son. And He has shown His mercy and His grace to those whom He has saved. So just want to encourage you with that tonight. I know this is a kind of a quick video kind of thrown together, but... Just going and seeing that uh, dear family member and that dear brother in Christ, I just wanted us to understand and know that giving somebody the gospel was a huge comfort. It was a good comfort for him, and even his wife, my mother-in-law, was able to say, you know, I even I feel at ease now uh, because of the truth that is in the Scripture. So I uh, just want to encourage each one of you with that, to go and comfort people with the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, that His love is with us through everything. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. So I hope you enjoy that tonight. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, 
That way we can get some more... I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to that stuff. Just do what you do. Share it. Like it. Tell your friends about it. Again, this is Cody Cool Dude, Cody Black with The Bearded Baptist. Hope to see you next time.